Welcome to another great English lesson. So our lesson today is, look at the title, Kenya the Kangaroo. Hmm, nice, huh? Wait and see what it's going to be about. So, who am I? My name is Tali. I'm an English teacher from Tel Aviv. I teach at El Nodo School. So hello to all my students. And we're, today we're going to learn some new words and learn a new story. I'm so excited and I know that you are too. So let's begin. First, I want to ask you, can you use new words in a sentence? Hmm. Can you match words to pictures? Can you understand a text? Or can you write what you think? Let's see if you can do all of that. What do you need for this lesson? As usual, your colors, your pencil, your paper, your notebook. You can decide what you want and we're going to start. Okay. Yeah, I know. Oh, I know that you said it at home. So, do you like kangaroos? Look at the kangaroo in the picture. Oh, they are so cute. We have a baby kangaroo and we have a mama, mom, mother kangaroo, right? So we have here very, very, very cute kangaroos. Now, I want you to look at the baby kangaroo. Where is he? It's actually, where is it? It's in the pouch. That right. Where, you know where you put the baby kangaroo is? In the pouch. That's right. So you can see also the kangaroo hops right there, they jump, and they're standing on their two feet. They're very cute. So, do you like kangaroos? I love kangaroos. Now, before we start, I want you to learn some new words. So, you can copy the words or you can, you can, you can just listen, okay? We're going to start from number one. The first one is famous. What is famous? For example, if I say, Ariana Grande is famous. Uh, Justin Bieber is famous. Mm, what other uh, uh, what other people do you know that you love? That's right, you know them. They are famous. You know about them, okay? Rotem Sela is famous. Um, Yarden Jerby is fa is famous, right? They are famous people. In Hollywood, the famous people get a star on the floor uh, uh, on the on the ground actually with their with their name on it, okay? So. This is famous. So let's say it in a sentence. Ariana Grande is famous. Ariana Grande is famous. Excellent. Let's do number two. Number two is dreams come true. Oh, my dream is to be in Hawaii, to sit on the sand, oh, to drink some watermelon shake. What is a dream? That's right. Yeah, it's my dream. Halom, it's a dream. But can it come true? Well, right now it can't really. Maybe later. So I want, for another example, my dream is to teach you guys here in, tele here in the television while, the, while we have the corona all around. So my dream came true. Dreams come true. What does that mean? Yes, that's right. Mitgashmin, dreams come true. Exactly. So let's go to number one. Ariana Grande is famous. Good job. Dreams come true. Dreams come true. Good job. I believe, I believe dreams come true. Number three, luck. What is luck? If you have lots of luck, you will win the lottery, okay? Lottery is a lot of lottery. So, you will win the lottery. So, if you have a lot of luck, what will you have? What do you want? A Nintendo game? Really? <laughs> what do you want, a puzzle? This is your, this is your, your lucky charm? <laughs> okay, so, Luck is when you want something really bad and it happens and you say, oh my God, you are so lucky. You have luck. Okay, so look at this little man in the picture. He found the gold. He is lucky. Okay, he found, he has luck. Okay, so number one is famous. Good. Number two is dreams come true. Good. Number three is 
luck. Excellent. Number th number four. What is number four? Number four is climb. Okay, I can climb a mountain. I can climb the climb the stairs. Okay, to climb something. So let's say it with me. To climb is hard. To climb is hard. To climb is hard. Good. Or maybe for some of you, to climb is easy. To climb is easy. That's right. So number four is climb. Excellent. Number five, which I'm not going to do now, is stand on your head. Look at the, look at the picture. <coughs> Excuse me. Look at the picture. We have a doll there who, which stands on its head, right? On a head. Number six, give it a try. What does it mean, give it a try? If I say, no, I can't do it. I can't climb. What is to climb? Yes. So I can't, I can't climb. I don't know how I can't climb. I will tell you, hey, 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 give it a try. Give it a try. You can do it. I know you can do it. Give it a try. What does that mean? To try. Don't give up. Okay. Let's do number one again. Number one is famous. Number two is dreams come true. Good job. Number three is Luck. Well, you have luck. Good job. Number four, I climb. Excellent. Number five, stand on your head. Excellent. Number six, Friday, I can't. I can't. I can't. Okay, give it a try. Okay, I give it a try. Good job. Okay? So, what I want you to do now is to match the pictures to the words, okay? So you have picture, look at the picture number one, two, three, four, five, six, and you have there all the words that you need to match the pictures. Famous, give it a try, climb, luck, stand on your head, dreams come true, okay? Match the words to the pictures. Now what you can do is just write number one and the word, number two and the word, okay? You don't have to draw the picture, okay? So two minutes for that, enjoy. Okay, let's check what you did. You had to match the words to the pictures. I'm sure you did it good, but let's check it. Number one, what was number one? Give it a try. Yeah, you can say maybe give it a try, but what was it? What was it? It was climb, that's right, good job. What was number two? I wanna be in a Y. I want to have a watermelon shake. Oh, I wish my, mm, 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 mm. what is it? Yeah, I wish my dreams come true. That's right. Good job. Number three. What is it doing? What is this 
thing you doing there? Yeah? Yeah, maybe he will maybe he will be famous if he will but what is what is he doing? Actually doing? Yeah, of course. It's stand on your head. Excellent. What is number four? Remember? Who is Ariana Grande? She is mmm. Justin Bieber is mmm. Famous, that's right, they're famous. Everybody knows about him, about them, right? Number five, I can't do it. No, I don't want to. I don't know, I can't. What do you tell me? Give it a, give it a try. Good job. Give it a try. I know you can do it. And number six, look at all the gold. Ah, oh, I'm so, yeah, I'm so lucky. I have lots of luck. That's right. Excellent work. Good job. So let's go it. Go over them one last time before the story. Number one, climb. Number two, dreams come true. Good. Number three, stand on your head. Good. Number four, famous. Number five, give it a try. And number six, luck. So you have lots of luck. You know why? Do you know why? Because we're going to have a really nice story. Wait and see. So, before we continue, you have all the words here. Okay, I want you to write some sentences. Only three sentences, okay? So, choose one word for each sentence. For example, look at the example. Ariana Grande is famous. So, choose one word. Famous or give it a try or climb or luck or stand on your head or dreams come true. Whatever you want, okay? but write one sentence with it. So the example is Ariana Grande is famous or I climb the stairs. Okay, so whatever you like. Start now, you have two minutes for that. Okay, so did you give it a try? <laughs> yeah? Okay, let's, so let's think about other sentences you can write. I stand on my head. Okay, look, I changed the your to my because I'm talking about myself. Okay, so you can just put the I in the beginning because you have stand, it's a verb. It's, a, it's like I go, I run, I stand on my head. Okay, what other sentences you can write? You can write, I have luck or you have luck or my dad has luck, okay? So you can really write lots of sentences using the words and you can send your teachers your sentences and I'm sure they will love them. Okay, before we start, let's think, what can kangaroos do? Can they jump? Can they run? What can they do? How do I start the sentence? That's right. 
they can, or I can say kangaroos can. So they can change the word kangaroo, can replace actually, replace the word kangaroo, and kangaroos, kangaroos can play, replace the word they, okay? So what can kangaroos do? They can jump, okay. They can run also, that's right. What else can they do? They can Right, hold their baby in the pouch. That's right. What else can they do? Yes, kangaroos can eat, of course, like humans. But what can they really, really do? They can hop. Kangaroos can hop really high. Really, really high. I can't hop like a kangaroo. Okay. Can you guess what the story will be about? I'm going to read the sentences to you from the story. Let's think together. What will the story be about? Kenya is a sad kangaroo. Hmm. This is what you need to make your dream come true. Hmm. She's hopping high, too high to stop. Hmm. So what will the story be about? What do you think? Oh, okay, about a kangaroo maybe who hops high? Maybe, maybe it's her dream to hop high, right? Maybe, what else? Why is, why is Kenny a sad kangaroo? Why is she sad? Maybe she's hungry, okay, maybe. Oh, maybe she doesn't have any friends? Oh, I don't know, maybe, what else do you think? Maybe she feels bad, yeah, maybe she's sick. <laughs> we don't know, maybe she has corona, oh no. <laughs> No I'm kidding. We don't know what is going to happen. So we are thinking about it and let's find out. The name of our story is Kenya the Can't Guru. Now look at this title. You can see the Can't Guru. What word does it remind you? Uh, a camera? No. Uh, watermelon? <laughs> no. So that's right. Kangaroo. We just added the two there. Can't guru. Hmm, why is it her name? So this is a really great story from our books and we're going to read it together. You can look at the pictures. You can see there. What do you see there? Where's the kangaroo? What color is it? That's right, it's purple. And what do you have there upside down, stands on it on its head? Yeah, it's like a chicken, huh? It's a doctor. Look at him. Hmm, what's going to happen? Wait and see. Let's start. So are you comfortable? Sit on the sofa, sit on the floor, sit on the chair. We're starting. Kenya is a sad kangaroo. <laughs> when she, when her friends hop high, Kenya sighs, to sighs to do like that. <sighs> her friends call her the canned guru. You are the canned guru. That's sad. Kenya goes to visit the famous doctor. Remember what is famous? That's right, everybody knows about him, like Ariana Grande. The famous doctor, William Cluck. That's right. Wait a second, why is William Cluck with big letters? Of course, it's a name. Good job. You are in luck. Remember luck? Yeah, she's lucky says Dr. Cluck. This is what you need to do to make your dream come true. Remember what is to come true? Ah, oh, wow. To come true, she wants to hop. And doc the doctor says, you are in luck. I can help you. Your dream will come true. Just climb up on your bed and then try standing on your head. Okay, just climb up on your bed and then try what to do? Standing on your head. What do you think? Will that help Kenya to, to hop, to stand on the head? How, how can it help her? I don't know. Kenya doesn't know why the doctor tells her to stand on her head, but 
she gives it a try. Remember? To give it a try. She says, I don't know why, but mm, I will give it a try. Wow, wow, wow! <gasps> Look what's happening now! Ouch, ouch, ouch! Things are falling from her. Ha! Wanted to check if you... What did I say? What is the name of the thing? Yeah, it's a pouch. That's right. So what, is, what do we have in the story? Pocket. Nuh -uh -uh. Pocket is what we have in our jeans. Pouch is what the kangaroo has. Okay? We have a pouch. So, an umbrella, a toothbrush, a glove, then another, a boot, then another. <gasps> wow, look, many things are falling out of her pouch. Oh, no. What do we see there? Look, what is an umbrella? Can you point to the umbrella? Point. Point to the umbrella. Let's see if you're right. Yeah, this is an umbrella. Good. It's yellow and orange. What is a toothbrush? Can you find the toothbrush? Look for the toothbrush. What is it? Yeah, here it is. It's a pink toothbrush. Very small. And a glove. What is a glove? A hint? A, the glove is blue. And we have two gloves. Yeah, and then, you, then the other. So we have two gloves. And a boot. What is a boot? Yeah, that's a boot. Good. Do, we, do you see another boot? Boot? Yeah, we have two boots. That, right. What's the color of the boot? Is it yellow? <laughs> no. Blue? Uh, no, the glove is blue. It's green. That's right. Excellent. And what is this? It's a book! That's right. Look, it's a book about kangaroos, right? Oh no, look! What else is falling out of her pouch? We have a wheel. What is a wheel? Look at the picture. Can you find a wheel? Here it is, the orange wheel. And a peel. Look at it, the peel of the banana. That's right. And the chocolate bar. Oh, chocolate bar. I'm sure that Kenyan loves chocolate. And even a guitar. Look at the guitar. Hmm. Wow. Many, many, many things fell out of her pouch. What else can you see in the picture? Look, what do we have there? Yeah, we have a hat. What else? Yeah, that we have a sandwich, a smelly sandwich. <laughs> Good job. And the umbrella, you can see there. Wow, look what happens now. Kenya hops down to the floor, then she hops right out the door. <gasps> wow! Hop and hop and hop and hop. Can you hop with Kenya? Let's hop together. Hop and hop and hop and hop. She's hopping high, too high to stop. She can't stop. She hops so high to the sky. She shows her friends, look, look everybody, what she can do. And now they all call her the kangaroo. Wow, so now we understand why, why we have kangaroos, because they kangaroo, that's right. So applause to Kenya the kangaroo. She can do it. Look, and she gave it a try. She didn't give up and she had luck. And she met with the famous doctor. And look at her now. She hops and hops and hops and hops. Okay, this is our story. Now I want to check what you remember from it. Okay, so I'm going to give you five seconds to an answer each question. I'm going to read it to you. Okay, and you need or to write the answer or to point to the answer. Okay, so... Question number one. Hmm. What can't Kenya do? A. Run. B. Hop. C. Climb. Or D. Sleep. Five, four, three, two, one. What's the answer? Let's check it. It's hop, of course. Kenya can't hop. Hmm. Sad Kenya. Kenya the can't guru 
needs what? A. A tree. B. A ball. C. Friends. Or D. Luck. What does she need? Five, four, three, two, one. Yeah, it's D. It's luck, of course. <coughs> Ooh, that means that it's correct. <laughs> Good job. So, Kenya the kangaroo needs luck. The doctor, the famous doctor William Cluck, tells Kenya to what? To jump, to climb a tree, to stand on her head, or to go to sleep. Five, four, three, two, one. What does the doctor say? Yeah, he tells her to stand on her head. Remember? And everything, what happened there? Everything fell out. She was lighter. She could hop. What falls out of Kenya's pouch? We have here pocket. My mistake. Pouch. A toothbrush, a glove, a guitar, or answers A, B, and C. Five. Four, three, two, one. Yeah, of course. A toothbrush, a glove, and a guitar falls out of her pouch. Remember? What happens after Kenya stands on her head? A. Nothing. B. She falls. C. She can hop up and down or D, she can run. Five, four, three, two, one. What is the answer? That's right, it's C. She can hop up and down. That's right. So Kina is very happy, and I'm happy also because you did everything perfectly fine and perfectly good. Now we are going to write about your kangaroo. Okay? You have a kangaroo. Congratulations. Oh, I'm so generous. I gave you a kangaroo as a present. Okay? So you have a kangaroo. Now I want you to give it a name. So you write, its name is Kenya. Okay? Like the, the kangaroo in the story. But you can give it your own name. And then you write, my kangaroo can, what can it do? Can it cook? Can it jump? Can it run? And then you write, my kangaroo can't. What can't your kangaroo do? Can't it maybe play on the computer? My kangaroo can't hop. Okay, so you can pick what your kangaroo can't do. You have two minutes for that. Enjoy.
So do you like your new kangaroo? I hope you enjoy playing with it and I hope you give it a really nice name and that he can do stuff and he, even if he can do, tell him to give it a try. Now we're going to have an, two other two minutes to do something else, okay? I want, well, you have a kangaroo. Now I, I want to ask you, what did your kangaroo have in its pouch? Okay, we have pocket again, we don't want pocket. What does it has, what does, what does your kangaroo have in its pouch? So you write, my kangaroo has, and then you write what? A book or an apple. I want to remind you that if I have a word that start with a, a vowel, A, E, I, O, U, I write an, and if it's all the other letters, we write a, okay? So you can choose a, an. So my kangaroo has a book, my kangaroo has an apple, okay? So you think what your kangaroo has in its pouch, okay? So write what, the, what it has. You have two minutes. What? Your kangaroo has a computer in its pocket? Oh my god. What else? A camera? Nice. A bottle? Mm. A pizza? Oh, wow, a slice of pizza, right? No? A whole pizza? Wow, wow, wow. So he needs a big pouch, right? <laughs> Good job, everybody. Keep all your answers to send to your teachers, okay? Now, I want you to think about things, about the story, okay? I give you two questions that you can answer. Number one is when do you go to the doctor, okay? Remember that Kenya, the kangaroo, went to the doctor because she, exactly, she can't hop, she was sad. And what did the doctor say? That's right, stand on your head. So think, when do you go to the doctor? Okay, you write the sentence, I, go to the doctor when I, mm, okay? Maybe you go to the doctor just because you love your doctor and you want to see him, maybe. Number two, do you like the Kenya kangaroo story? And then you can answer, yes, I like it because, and why? Or no, I don't like it because, and why, okay? For example, I can say, yes, I like it because it tells you not to give up, okay? To give it a try, to always to give it a try, okay? No matter what. So you can choose which question to answer, number one or number two. You have two minutes for that, and then we're gonna sum up everything together. Go.
Welcome back, my kangaroos. So, how was the riding? Good? Yeah, I'm sure you did great. So, you have a, a kangaroo of your own. You can tell what it has in its pouch. You can tell what you think about stuff. Amazing. Very good work. Now, let's see what you can do. You can use new words in a sentence. Of course you can. Dreams come true, right? And I have luck and you give it a try and I climb a mountain, right? Remember we talked about the words in a sentence. Good job. Number two, you can match words to pictures. Remember, we had a picture, you had the word and you matched. Remember, we had a man climbing and you wrote climb. Yeah, good job. Number three, you can understand the text. How we know that you understand a text? Remember the questions I asked you? I asked you what fell out of Kenya's pouch? And you answered. Or you, you said, what, why was Kenya sad? Because she can't hop. That's right. Good work. And the last one, what can you do now? That's right. You can write what you think. That's what we did at the, the end of the task. That's right. You wrote if you like the story or you, if you didn't like the story. I want to tell you that you did a fantastic work. And I hope that you will read more about kangaroos because it's a very, very interesting topic to learn about. I love kangaroos and I will go and read about them too. So, all of my kangaroos, go there and hop and enjoy your day. It was a lovely lesson and I hope to see you soon. Bye-bye.